to the Chimp is a self-described party game, and while I agree with the nomenclature, I also say you'll want to play it at the end of your party, and you want everyone to know that they're drunk and need to go home. As you present the game to your friends, note that the controls are simple, consisting only of jump, attack, and some other one they'll be too drunk to understand. You'll start them off easy, say with a game of front runner, and tell them that all they have to do is beat each other up and collect the little gray things that you tell them are called clamps. You will direct them to pay attention to the pregame explanation, which they will half acidly do, enough to realize that the game seems as simple as you told them. Then, as soon as the game starts, they will forget which character they are, get lost behind obstacles, killed by random objects, and otherwise be confused. They will die and respawn without realizing it had happened. This will make them quit. Remind them how simple the game is with its three buttons. Show them how slow their character moves and how easy the game should be to play. Hopefully they will come to the conclusion that they are too drunk to play the game, get tired, go home, and go to sleep. The joke will be on them. Having owned the game, you realize that no friend of yours, drunk or sober, will ever have enough patience to understand the confusion the game designers shove into Hail to the Chimp. Unexplained rule wrinkles, randomly assigned attacks, and their equally baffling consequences, barely noticeable respawns, and round colorful graphics that blend foreground with background. All of these factors lead to bewilderment, boredom, and finally indifference. That said, if you are willing to stick it out and begin to understand its intricacies, Hail to the Chimp can be a somewhat rewarding experience. The animated extras are often genuinely good and provide a decent parody of TV-centric culture. Through newscasts, That's right. interviews, and advertisements, the designers of Hail to the Chimp create a somewhat engrossing world in which various animals are competing to be president of the animal kingdom. The clams the players collect in various minigames are apparently the voters' account. Hence all the Smash Brothers meets Pac-Man mayhem that takes place in the actual gameplay. Unfortunately, your friends at your video game party are not going to want to stick around to absorb all the wonderful extra content that this game provides. Either that, or you should get less boring friends. No. Hail to the Chimp is best enjoyed alone and is probably not even worth playing at all. I'm Derek for VideoLammer.com. Put it down!